right, welcome YouTubers to the first garden tour of 2020. Now it's only March 25th, so we haven't done anything in the garden. We're in Ohio, but I just kind of wanted to get a before and then we'll do a during and after. Um, here we've got potato pots. We plan on putting baby red potatoes in here. Basically the idea is that the potatoes grow and then when you want to harvest them you pull this one out and you pick them from around the sides and then you can have potatoes for a little bit longer and they don't take up room in the garden we also have one over on that side now we've got a little walkway here we need to get rid of some of the pine needles we do have pine trees um, over here I plan on doing tomatoes. I already have my tomato fence up. Probably do some tomatoes, maybe some onions, maybe some green beans around the perimeter. It's kind of a small garden, so it's not like we've got tons of room. Then back here, we have our asparagus patch. You see it's still covered with pine needles that we need to rake up and probably get some of the weeds out of there. But We've been growing asparagus here in the same patch for about three years now, so hopefully this year we're, we'll start getting some good asparagus. It takes a few years for it to, to take root. Uh, back here is this little spot. We'll probably do some green beans back there. Uh, maybe, maybe do pumpkins. My son likes to grow pumpkins, so maybe we'll throw some pumpkins or squash back there. Maybe some, maybe some corn. And this is the ah, bigger part. And we'll probably put the corn here. Some green beans. You see we got a bunch of topsoil and peat moss to, to get in. And we got to rake up these pine leaves. Pine needles. Now, over here is where our garden used to be. And you can see we have some cilantro growing. So I'll be curious to see what all might grow here during the spring. We definitely will have some cilantro, might have some lettuce. Um, another thing, when he, my husband moved the gardens, he used dirt from my garden. And then we have cilantro and lettuce here and cilantro and lettuce over here. Now on to the back. I'm also at this point starting some green beans and some lettuce. Some lettuce in the front of the house and green beans in the kind of in the shed. Here is our blackberry bush. This is kind of getting, getting a little few buds on it. This is about two year, two, three years old also. And keep going. See where all this grass is, used to be all dirt and pine needles and pine cones. And here is our raspberry bush. See, it's gotten quite, quite a lot bigger than when we planted it planted it with a stick. So hopefully we'll get some raspberries off of this. But you can see it's got some little buds on it too. So. Alright. And still over here. We've got strawberries all around our peach tree. We've got chicken wire up so that the Rabbits don't get to it. I also have this little doodad whose his face fell off. We didn't put him in for the winter. And then here is our peach tree. We've got some nice little buds on it. I'm a little anxious to see. This one's about three years old, so we probably won't get any peaches, but maybe, maybe one, maybe two. It's hard to say. Okay. 
And then I'm going to show you my pots real quick. And then that will end our tour. Now I'm starting. This is the first time I've done this in the shed. It's the first year we've had the shed. I am starting lettuce and green beans. I like to start them in the house. But we have a cat and that seems problematic. So here is... This is going to be green beans, hopefully. And this is going to be lettuce. Hopefully it'll get us through this coronavirus thing and keep us fed at least a little bit. So if you like that, we're going to do a garden tour every Saturday at 9 or 10 a.m. We'll do a live tour from the end of April till probably the, the end of October. So please give this video a like and consider subscribing to our channel. We come out with a new video every Wednesday at 1 p.m. and I will continue doing these garden tours. Thanks. Have a great day. Bye.